Hi, and welcome back to the channel. So I've just arrived at a great location in the Yorkshire Dales to photograph red grouse. And I'll probably pick the worst more than possible to do so. You can see my coat's getting blown all over the place here. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, I can't believe it. But I've had to come out today because tomorrow is the glorious 12th and they start shooting the grouse. So I thought this is my last chance to try and get in now when there's plenty of grouse about. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I've had a few workshops this week, early morning workshops, doing grouse, and the weather has been fantastic. And today, when I come out, this. But not a worry. So, what we'll do, I'm going to drive down the road shortly and use my car as a hide. And I've got a 600 F4, which I'll use for some stills. I won't use that for video footage because I'll probably not be able to keep it steady enough, especially with this wind. So I'll use my 100-500, which I'm actually glad I brought now. I wasn't going to bring it, uh, so that's good. And, you know, I, I've probably been to dozens and dozens over the years of grouse moors. And I find this one the best I've been to. And, and let's say, it's on my doorstep, 30 minutes away. So I know every inch of these moors. The best place to find the grouse. So yeah, so I, I'm going to head off down there shortly. It's a good spot I'm going to pull over and try and get some video footage. Now, this video is only going to be a short video because, in the day, how many images of a red grouse and how much video footage of a red grouse can you get on Heather? You know, sitting there pecking away at some, you know, tips of the Heather. It's not a lot you can do. So, it's just to show you really, you know, what a special place this is. So, anyway. I'm going to go in the car now and get myself a bit warm because it's absolutely Baltic here. You can't believe it's August. Right. So, I'm just sitting here looking out at the grouse moors just to show you. I mean, look at this purple heather. It's absolutely fantastic. It's not a, a lot of grouse around at the moment. I think they're all hung down because it's, say it's blowing a gale. And yeah, I mean, I've seen quite a few so far, but this is a really good patch of purple heather. And there's nothing here. But, you know, I could come back and do another video, you know, just to show you how good this place is. You know, but no, I'm, I'm going to use this video to show you, you know, the ups and downs of wildlife photography. I've just found a, at least, I don't know, maybe 10, 20. It's, it's actually quite a few now disappearing out of the heather. It's amazing how they just duck down and they just disappear, you know. But this, this one here doesn't seem too bothered at all by me being here. He's just sitting there. I must be in here about 10 minutes at least. And he's just, you know, he's just sitting chilled. And if I move across to the, to the right a little bit, you can see it's, you know, it's quite a few there as well. It's oh, one, two, three. I can actually see nine at the moment, but it's loads more. Yeah, so it's it's good to see at the moment. Whoops, you fella. Hey, fantastic camera skills, this isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, he's off. He's off. Whoa, what's he doing? Yeah, this is great. It really is. And it stopped raining, but it's yeah, it's very overcast still. You know, it's not great weather. You know, the, a couple of days ago, this, this purple heather was just bouncing, you know, it was lit up with the sun, it was fantastic. But, yeah, I see, it is what it is.
rain has stopped and it's the light come out and it's absolutely gorgeous it really is the problem is i'm actually running out of time now because i've got to get away shortly but it's a uh, yeah it's beautiful i'm about 15 foot away from this grouse now he's just been sitting here for about maybe seven eight minutes just you know not bothered at all by me it's great he's just been picking at the tops of the heather That's me finished now. I've unfortunately got to leave to go to the scroll hides just as the best light arrives. I mean, when I arrived here this morning about quarter past five, it was blowing a gale, which it still is, but it was freezing cold, it was no light, it was raining, and now when I've got to go, <laughs> the sun's come out and there's some beautiful light behind me. It's absolutely amazing. I did manage to get a quick five minutes footage of a grouse and some nice light. But anyway, it's going to be nice to show you a mixture of conditions. You haven't got to stay in the house because it's raining or no light. You know, you've got to get out there. If I stopped in the house every time it rained, I would never take a picture. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully I've got some nice footage from today. And uh, I'm going to head off now. So once again, thanks very much for supporting this channel. And until next time, see you later.